Hi, I'm Matt Dwyer, and today I'm going to talk to you about just a very small but very important part of Robert Johnson's style of guitar playing. It's called the Robert Johnson Turnaround. It's a very cool turnaround, and you can play it in any key. Now, if you ever heard a Robert Johnson record, you would have heard that turnaround. He uses it in Sweet Home Chicago, and he uses it in... From 4 till late. But like I said, you can play it in any key, because they're all closed notes. Now, it's quite a simple turnaround. We're starting in the key of E. We would start with our little finger on the 12th fret of the E string. We're in standard tuning, by the way. So we start with our little finger on the 12th fret of the E string, which gives us an E. And then we put our ring finger on the 12th fret of the D string, which is the dominant seventh of E, which gives it that blues sound. That really cool blues sound. Then it's just a matter of moving just moving chromatically on the D string from the 12th fret down to the 9th fret. So we do that with our other fingers. So I'll play it slowly at first. Now there's a couple of different ways of playing it. I've heard him play it like this. Or there's another one where he plays 2, then 3, then 4. So it's 2, then three, then four, and then resolves to the E. All the while pedaling on that high E note. I'll show you again. Now that's a really cool turnaround. I use it in a song by Charles Brown called Driftin' Blues. And there's the Robert Johnson turnaround.